last few readings. So this is one that is going to be in my new book, uh, Alarmed in Space, and it's called You Never Know. I woke up this morning and you were next to me. And I thank God, and the clock said 5.24 a.m. And you never know when love is true or something sadly snatched away from you. And looking down at the page, I realized that internally this all rhymes, although I didn't mean it to. Anyway, <laughs> the world has done bad things to us, my love. And sometimes I have to reach for the physical touch of your body to reassure me that we are still us. I rise on my elbow like some sea monster to read that digital face to see that it's now 527 and I've made it three minutes into another day. And you never know when that won't happen. I've seen a day when I stared death in the face and death wasn't scary, it was just me being weak. My lesson as I stumbled from the hospital was fight death as long as you can and faith and love will bring you back. It's five something in the morning and my hand is secure on your arm and I know that for now I can rest. Later today, translate faith into belief, live, cling, then let go of it all and sleep again. You learn the precious lessons of weakness, of love, how to get along and even thrive but you never know when the body you cling to so desperately will be taken, be born swift, swiftly and sweetly and suddenly away. You never know. I get up from my bed, put my feet on the floor and consider the miracle that once again today I can walk. Kind of a heavy beginning, so uh, to lighten it up a little bit, <laughs> uh, my fear of heights is probably legendary among those who know me. I'm scared on a step ladder, and uh, doesn't have to be a mountain or even a molehill. This poem is about that, and it's called "Not Hannibal." The bulbs in the light fixture directly across from the skylight at the, stop, at the top of the staircase have died. I seem to hear them cooing to me in the soft, sudden darkness, luring me into a suicide pact. Change us, change us. I'm wise to you, bulbs. I'm afraid of heights and clumsy, too. No ladder precarious on the upper landing with me leaning out. Sure, somebody wants installed and replaced these bulbs. And Hannibal, they tell me, once crossed the snowy Alps with his magnificent elephants. <laughs> And I have to say, I did get this fellow that we sometimes, my wife and I sometimes use uh, to do some of our handiwork around the house to replace those light bulbs. Not me. <laughs> Nor my wife, who probably is not quite as clumsy as me, but I wouldn't want her up there either. This is uh, a poem that last year was nominated for uh, a Best of the Net Award. Uh, and uh, I guess about this one I could say that no matter how old we are, we obviously all encounter pain to varying degrees. And this is a poem about that. And it's called, The Nature of Pain. The neurologist explained how the pain in my hip is referred arthritis from my lower back. My wife's x-rays show deterioration on the sides of her knees, but the ache was right under the patella, smack in the middle. And that's where the pain gets us, right in the heart or somewhere away from where the pain really is. I remember when she left, the ache seemed to be everywhere, a referred universe doused like a cosmic cloud over the sweet stars of what we had and what seems sudden in the hip, in the knees, 
in the quiet sob of departure is only the loss of status quo. Descending into pain, we lose our innocence, and blinking in our strange old age, we try to understand the new world of doing without, without the ease and grace of youth.